Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Ashland College Alumni Interview Series. Today, we are joined by Jeff A.D. Martin from our Diversity and Inclusion course. Hello, Jeff. How are you? I'm great. Thank you so much for having me. I'm glad to be here. You know, I, I've been blessed to work in a lot of different areas. One of the areas I work in is policing uh, as a police officer, and I've been doing that for the last 17 years. On top of that, I really fell in love with public speaking. And over the last 10 years, I've been a public speaker. So I actually do have two jobs that I'm juggling because uh, public speaking is quite a, a full-time job. And as I have been going out and speaking to audiences and really just trying to help to motivate to change lives, I recognize that there's an issue that we continue to have right here in our country of Canada and really all across the world. And that issue is inclusivity. It's uh, understanding and, and accepting diversity. It's seeing people for who they are and understanding that they are deeper than just the color of their skin. They're deeper than just the neighborhood that they were raised in. They're deeper than their religion. There's more to them. But oftentimes, we as human beings, we judge people as soon as we see them. And so I started to do more conversations, workshops, and presentations on diversity and inclusion. And... Um, you know, over the last couple of years, specifically in 2020, we saw a real uprise based on what happened in the United States. We saw a real uprise in people uh, just based on the lack of inclusion that this world has. And so I said to myself, not only do I want to speak more on diversity and inclusion, but I also want to get the educational piece to go behind it. So it's not just me speaking about my own experiences. It's that along with the academics that goes with it as well. And so that's why I decided to sign up for Ashton College and take the, um, the education that would help my personal career go forward. So that was that's pretty much it. What just kind of based on what I said, it's just recognizing that I wanted to get the academic piece of diversity and inclusion. And again, I can always share my personal stories and things I've been through and what I've heard as well but really kind of digging into the academic piece and understanding diversity and inclusion from the educational standpoint so I can incorporate that within my presentations and speeches, which I have done very well. Uh, Ashton College and the information I've learned has been so helpful in helping me to um, really engage my audiences, again, adding in that educational piece as well. So it's been be very beneficial. You know, getting the education from uh, about diversity and inclusion, it really is something that I have been able to adapt within both careers, you know, just getting an opportunity to really understand people and what people have been through, understand the backgrounds of people, understanding, again, the academic piece of, of, of the the, the whole dynamics between diversity, equity, and inclusion. And then again, the information that I learned from the course and coupled with my own personal experiences and other you know things I've learned along my journey, being able to use that to help to uplift people, help to open minds and change hearts, which really is what it comes down to, helping people to understand, again, just seeing past someone's you know, a, a label that we sometimes put on people past the color of their skin, past the, the sexual orientation, you know, incorporating that as well, because it's important to see, in my opinion, to see someone's color of their skin. I want you to see the color of my skin because that's a part of who I am. But that's not only who I am. I want you to see the color of my skin, but I want you to see that I'm a father. I'm a husband. I'm a caregiver. I'm someone who loves life. I'm a, 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 a a son who has a parent who's aging, you know, I'm all of those things as many of us are as well, but it's incorporating all those things that makes me who I am. And so helping people to see people on a deeper level, not just for what they see based on color of their skin or their sexual orientation or their religion, but seeing that amongst everything else that makes them who they are. I want to say that it was Sharon. Oh man, I wish I, I wish I I wish I went back and and, and confirmed before this interview, um, but I know that she was very caring. She was very understanding. She was very helpful. Um, I was able to reach out to her. I know that we are LinkedIn friends. I know that, um, but yeah, she was very um, very accommodating in terms of just sharing the information that she was teaching, helping us, giving us 
um, an opportunity to share our thoughts. And she did that quite often, I recall, you know, just allowing us to come off of mute or, or type in chat to really share our thoughts on what was being taught with the lessons. Um, again, very accommodating. So I know we did speak about some uh, quite a few different things, um, including, of course, inclusivity. Um, there, there isn't anything that really overall stood out. It was just the overall, uh, you know, great understanding and opportunities to share our thoughts and opinions. And then I remember one of the assignments that we uh, had to do was coming up with some type of structure of what you would introduce to your job uh, or, or some type of business place to bring in more of an inclu inclusive uh, work place. And so it gave us an opportunity to kind of play around and, and really come up with some real cool ideas to allow a job to be more inclusive, uh, more understanding, allow people to feel belong, that they belong in this work environment. So that's one of the assignments that we had to work on. You know, it, it's been wonderful. Um, as of right now, I do a lot of uh, public speaking, motivational speaking, presentations and workshops uh, with organizations and schools, uh, particularly, again, over the last while, um, as the world is more conscious about diversity, equity, inclusion and belonging, um, it's, it's been phenomenal to, to get emails uh, from all over Canada, people wanting me to come to present. And I, I'm happy and I'm, I'm humbled to say that I am uh, most likely, and we're still kind of crunching some numbers here, but it looks like I am the number one speaker for schools across Canada that speaks on the topic of diversity and inclusion. And to know that I have that title um, is humbling, it's honoring, and to know that Ashton College has been able to assist with the educational piece of uh, assisting my presentations, giving me the knowledge that I needed, the educational knowledge that I can add to my presentations, my workshops, my conversations with people, it's been absolutely phenomenal. And so that's one of the highlights that I could say that's taken place over the last while, uh, at, at, you know, having Aston College and being able to graduate uh, with, the, with the information and education that I've had from them, it has helped me, has elevated me to the point of being the number one school speaker in all of Canada on the topic of, of diversion, that, on the topic of diversity and inclusion. You know, I'll, I'll speak to anyone who listens. You know, I'll speak to anyone. You know, the truth is when we're speaking directly about diversity and inclusion, stats will show that the majority of people do not speak to their children. They do not have conversations in their household about diversity, about equity, about belonging. They don't speak to their, their children about that. And I think it's very important for us to do so, to talk to the younger generation about what's happening, about the fact that not everybody's treated equally and, and they're judged based on something that's different than somebody else. It's important for us to have these conversations because when parents believe their parent, their, when parents believe the children are not having the conversations, they are having these conversations. They're having them in the playgrounds, they're having them during recess. And it's it makes sense for, for parents, for teachers, to have these conversations with these kids to educate them as opposed to them having it in the playground with other kids who don't know what they're speaking about. So I will speak to anyone. Um, my issue has never been confidence. I will always have a conversation with somebody, especially when I know it can really help them to become better. Yeah, you know, I, I would really recommend this course. I think it gives you an opportunity again you know, at the basis of who we are, just really understand other people. You know, I don't think it really is that complicated. I think it really just comes down to understanding, having empathy for other people, regardless if they have a different complexion than you, regardless if their religion is different than you, regardless if, you know, they're heavier than you. Whatever the difference is with them and you, I think it's important for us to have a better understanding of people so we could be more inclusive. And so I would recommend this course to anyone because it allows you to move your thinking in that direction of being more inclusive, of understanding someone else's story and somebody else's plight. We all come from different walks of life. And so for us to really get a, gr a greater understanding of who we as human beings are, we have to start to study other people. You know, being in Canada is interesting because 
Canada is one of the most diverse countries in the world. However, when you open up the history books that all of us are forced to read in school, much of it does not speak about that diversity. Much of it doesn't speak about the indigenous people who were first here. This country was never discovered because there were people already living here. Much of our history books does not speak about that. Much of our history books does not speak about the slavery that existed with black folks. It doesn't speak about the, uh, the Chinese tax. It, there's a lot of things that our books do not speak about in detail. And so when our children are being raised and brought up in our school system, they read these books and they believe this is all that there is to history in Canada. But there's so much more to history. And if we really want to learn about this country, then it takes us to take courses like this, this Ashton College course, to really dive into the diversity of who we are so it can open our minds to other things, to learning about the history, to learning about other people, and again, ultimately understanding people so we can understand ourselves. So I would recommend this course to anybody.